Okay, let's grab some med kits. Cause I'm kind of hurt. Stalker elements of the game from the game that when you play and that fucking spider scared me. I am a little bitch now. Could be doing better, but hey, we could be doing way worse than we are right now. I just hate that I wasted all my AK bullets on that. Alright, we got six bullets. That's improvement over one by five. Quick math. Got it, Chris.
one layer red, one steroids. Always take one. Always take one from home when you leave. Alright, we're making progress with the press of our break there. I say the rain in this game was so beautiful. Damn, I am trash. Trying. Twitching Timmy over there. Oh god, that one's gonna dung at you. So much more terrifying. Think of all the diseases he could give you. Pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Ule. <laughs> well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? 
<laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blyad, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, bus, since man. you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east, now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal bleed. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti, their tarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Well, seems like Crest is going to be very useful as far as keeping our train going. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Now the palace, one, oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. All right. Well, um, that was nice of Chris to listen to his house. Oh, yeah. Well, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Well, good to know he's full of himself, too. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do it. Best of luck on the way. I have to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. No, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. You know, I've been bent from the village and the bridge ever since. All right. Well. <laughs> Sorry. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> hey. So, um... You have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast? Wow, that's another story, though. Thank you.
Thank you.